Welcome to PMOD Monthly for September, our video series where we talk about different PMOD projects. This month we're talking about our Raspberry Pi and BeagleBone Black Sumo Bots, as you just saw demonstrated. They both use the PMOD 82 analog to digital converter, as well as the PMOD level shifter. Um, but I'm not going to say a lot more about it here. I'm going to turn it over to Austin, our demo creator, to talk about the details of how he created these fun little bots. All right, so let's look at the materials. We use the FingerTech Cobra Mini Sumo chassis. Um, we like this one because it has two motor drivers, one on each side, and then it has three line sensors on the bottom to help detect the difference between black and white. We have a BeagleBone Black and a Raspberry Pi version. Each has two PMODs attached. Uh, the first PMOD is a voltage level shifter. We use this to um, shift between the logic level of the Raspberry Pi and BeagleBone Black and the logic level of the chassis. Next, we use the analog to digital converter, the 82, which allows us to take the analog signals from the line sensors into a digital input um, because neither of the BeagleBone Black or the Raspberry Pi has a high enough voltage input for analog. All right, we also have uh, two controllers, one for the BeagleBone Black and one for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, each controller has a PMOD joystick 2 in each side. And um, we actually 3D printed these controllers and we post the step files online so you can do it yourself. We also use the YPI wireless module to communicate wirelessly with the Sumo bots using UDP. All of the code for this was written using Lynx 3.0 the newest edition of LabVIEW Maker Hub Lynx. Um, this lets you target many different types of microcontrollers, including the BeagleBone Black and Raspberry Pi. Lynx also includes sub-VIs for many of the PMODs, which allow you to easily interface with them um, without having to worry about individual communication protocols. So for the controller, we actually use differential steering or tank drive. Um, if I press forward on the right joystick, the right motor is activated. If I go forward on the left joystick, the left motor is activated. Um, we also have these triggers on the back. If I press the right trigger, it spins right. I press the left trigger, it spins left. Hold both to make it go forward. Um, we also have it so that the line sensors on the bottom, if they detect white, will stop the bot. And you'll have to replace it on black and then pull both triggers to restart it. There is also an automatic mode where if you press back both joysticks, it will switch into auto. It'll move forward until it hits white, turn, and then just move forward until it hits white again. You press both joysticks again and it stops it. All right, so now let's take a look at the code. Here you can see our LabVIEW project. Um, we have a controller VI and a SumoBot VI for each the Raspberry Pi and the Big One Black. The Raspberry Pi and Big One Black controller code is the exact same. So we're just going to take a look at the Raspberry Pi controller code. This is a front panel. This is where you'll input settings information. And then you'll also get outputs uh, from your PMOD joysticks. Let's take a look at the block diagram. Here you can see that the first thing that opens is the Lynx local I.O. It's actually set to local I.O. because with the BeagleBone Black and Raspberry Pi, we're actually deploying the code to the board, and LabVIEW is running on the board. Next, the, we open two sub-BIs for the PMOD joysticks, and then we, inside the loop, actually read from the joysticks to get the data out. Down here, we're opening a UDP socket, and then we are feeding the data from the joysticks into the UDP socket which we're then going to send to the Sumo bot. When the stop button is pressed, the code closes out, the loop closes out, and we close our Lynx interface, and we close the UDP socket. So now let's take a look at the Sumo bot code. Um, I'll be showing you the BeagleBone Black code first, and then afterwards I'll show you the differences in the Raspberry Pi code. So here's a front panel. You'll input the settings for the Big One Black and P mods first, and then over here you'll see that there's some debugging uh, help, which will tell you a little bit about the sensors and give you a little bit more information. So now here's a block diagram. 
So first, uh, Lynx is open here in local I.O. again, since we are deploying to the board. Next, we open up a reference to the 82, and then we enter the while loop, where there are three while loops all together. The top while loop uses a UDP read here to get information from the controller. The middle while loop uses a 82 read to get information from the sensors. And then the bottom while loop takes the information from the top two while loops and determines the state. So going deeper into this uh, third while loop, it's uh, used to control the motors using PWM. The first case structure that we hit here, there are three Boolean inputs. That's going to happen. The true case is going to be used if there's an error, which is going to be a problem with the connection to the uh, controller. Or if there is an issue with the sensor, whether it's reading white or whether it's not fully working, that'll cause an error, which will put you into this case, which will just turn the motors off. Um, if none of those problems are occurring, you go into the false case, where we are actually setting the direction and uh, the PWM for the motors. If you're in auto mode, you'll enter this case structure, which will just have it go straight until it sees white and then turn. If auto is not turned on, you'll enter this case, which you will have the direction and speed set by the information being sent over from the controller that's controlled by the user. Once the stop button is pressed, uh, all these while loops are exited, including the overall while loop, and then we close the um, UDP socket as well as references to the 82 and to links and then we're done. So now let's take a look at the uh, Raspberry Pi SumoBot code so we can see the differences. As you can see um, in the Beagle and Black's code we have simple um, sub VIs that control the PWM. Because Raspberry Pi doesn't have built-in PWM we use time delays between the digital on and digital off um, to mimic the signal. The length of the time delays is set from the uh, user input from the uh, PMOD joystick. So that wraps up the overview for this project. If you want to know more, make sure to check out my Instructable, where I include all the information about the bots, the code, the software, and I also post the um, step files. To encourage you to learn by making these bots at home, we're discounting the PMOD 82 analog to digital converter and PMOD logic level shifter 20% off for the duration of the month. Simply enter in PMOD monthly September 16 at checkout to receive the discount. Additionally, uh, we are now selling the Raspberry Pi and BeagleBone Black both bundled with LabVIEW Home. For more details, please check the links below the video and subscribe to stay up to date.